Amid the crisis in Haiti, a Florida mother is struggling to reunite three brothers from that country. She adopted two of the children years ago, but now faces roadblocks in getting the little brother here to Florida. CBC's Miami Steve Majeri talked to the mom about the issue. Michelle Reed says her sons Vidal and Jibberson are getting accustomed to American life. Can I kick it to mom? She adopted the nine and eight year olds from Haiti in 2022. They came with just the clothes on their back. Terrified, really thin. And then I look at them now, Vidal's almost doubled in weight and they're just growing like weeds. She thought she adopted all of the siblings, but their now six year old brother SIE is still in Haiti. She's trying to adopt him as well. She says SIE has been moved to three different orphanages and now she doesn't know where he is. She last spoke to him two months ago via video. There were gunshots all around. I was talking over gunshots and he seemed unfazed, but the caretaker that was sitting with him was looking over his shoulder, you know, a little uncomfortable. This is the paperwork that it required. She's asking the State Department for what's called humanitarian parole, which would allow SIE to wait in the United States while the paperwork is being finished. But she says the State Department isn't helping her. We will follow every single step of the adoption process, but we want our children home so that they're safe. When we reached out to the State Department for comment, a spokesperson said in part, we continue to work to identify solutions for children who do not have an adoption decree. We encourage adoption service providers to continue case processing in Haiti when circumstances permit. SIE's brothers just want to see him again. I miss him because, um, um, because in Haiti was too dangerous, that's why I'm adopted. Reed tells me it took her almost six years to adopt her two boys. And as for SIE, she's worried she won't have that much time. In Fort Myers, Steve Majiri, CBS News, Miami.